We dislodged them in Lagos, FCT, and it has been very difficult for them to queue. Farouk Omar, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Farouk Omar of the Labour Party explained why some people are attacking presidential candidate P2B even though the elections are over. He stated that some people are still dissatisfied with the result. The Labour Party leader said the opposition is worried about P2B's success in some of the key areas in this election. P2B also won in provinces that were controlled by the opposition. Labour Party candidate P2B won in many areas of Nigeria, including strongholds of other political parties. Farouk Omar said he was surprised by P2B's success in those areas and in the FCT and could not accept the reality. The Labour leader said the mistake the position made was not understanding how much Nigerians wanted a change. Farouk Omar said, Obedience are being attacked from left, right and centre, and now they've realised the power of social media. They are now defeated in all their strongholds. When the earthquake shook the people of Niger, they were very hard to chew. They had no idea that Nigerians were so eager for change. The narrative about their country has already changed. I did not expect things to go their way. Now, the thing is, um, whether I like it or not, I keep saying... The opposition underestimated P2B. Even P2B, I keep saying it. For people who come out to say, eh, you're an opportunist, you're this, you're that. Uncle, even P2B himself, if you had told him by this time, last two years, last three years, in fact, last year, that this will happen, I am sure he might doubt it. He did not know. The thing is, what is so good where everybody knew, everybody did, everybody did tire out is so everybody. For every year that passes, we have a tale to tell in this our country. And believe you me, it is not an interesting tale. It is not a tale of pleasure. It is not a tale of, oh, no, 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 no. We are in a good place. It is a tale of backwardness. Each seven years, each of these seven years, we have things to complain about. For each year, put together those things for seven years. Imagine how back, how they don't take us so back. A lot of people held on to hope. A lot of people held on to hope that things would get better. In fact, even after as the election was coming, people people hoped that oh after the election everything might were fine. That is why I would tell people, please prep your heart for whatever. I told the people my heart is I don't have a shock absorber anymore because at this point what is happening in this country? <laughs> I don't look and say, nothing they shock me again, no. Nothing shocks me anymore. They do election, they obtain the election, they carry the thing, give person where you're not supposed to be, or say they come outside talk nothing, even if the government do anything now. I ref nothing will shock me. I refuse to be shocked. I don't think I should be. This country is not countries of where abnormalities is the flow. The countries of where we say, if we do on Netflix, believe you me, Americans, we're going to give them more horror. If fact, everything, romance, so fiction, no, all this apocalypse movie, adventure, I did tell you, we go there, stay there. In fact, we're going to cash out if Nigeria is based on Netflix. No jokes. Because many, many things will be say other countries they see as abnormal. It is normal for this country. It is very normal. And all you could win in governorship election in one state, you couldn't even get 25 in 24 states. Of what use then is a dislodgement in Lagos. Honestly, obedience and senseless. Well, they were not given the opportunity, my darling. If they were given the opportunity, you would not be here saying this. Remember, immediately after the presidential election, as they found out that they have been dislodged in Lagos, they did not see it coming. For those that said, eh, they played, they, they, they did not rig it, the election... They did not rig Lagos on Keneko Keneko. The thing is, they no expect what to happen. They thought it was the usual initial gra gra of Nigerians, Aligba, Aligba. And even till now, they are thinking by now, we would have said, I'm not going to leave these people. But people are not backing down. No. It, is now, it is now that now they are now realizing. 
You know, if you match people head pass, you get people who say if you match their head pass, you feel match your head. But you get person who say if you if one match your head pass, you go knock your teeth. In fact, they go carry you go uh, uh, emergency unit immediately. Is if your jaw not dislocate where you fall, or maybe you break your hand, or maybe you know something do you? I know you if you match the head pass, it's not possible. People are at that point where they have had it up to here. They don't want and they want good governance. And see, is it too much to ask for? Remember, I don't pick this country. You don't pick this country. When you are coming, you did not pick this country. You understand? You did not pick people that give birth to you. You did not pick the family you, you the tribe, your even your religion. You did not pick it. Your parents picked it for you, except you as you can't become an adult, you can't change. Even some people they hardly do it. They hardly change their religion. All these things were basically picked for you. And then you have the opportunity to pick something for yourself and they deny you. Ah, that's in the pain. No? The only opportunity we had is to make sure that you come out and vote. And we did. But they did what? They scatter everything. You know how it feels. Not in, you are not in charge of anything in your life as a human being. You pick, you, they, now then pick country, then pick state, then pick a, a, a religion, then pick tribe for you. Everything then pick up. Now it is now left for you to pick a good leader that is going to lead you very well. They now snatch that opportunity. You will never forgive those people. And that is what is going on now. That is what is going on now. If you know, if you know God, you should know the reason. Those of you already know where we will be after here on earth, are free to increase your mansion with your sponsor, Satan in hell, and stop looking for who to take along. <laughs> Labour Party cannot win Lagos State again because APC was, was underwritten them. Labour Party to be buried for life. Obi self, I don't think if government will allow him again, is a propaganda man, online popularity man. <laughs> government will allow him, Nibo. <laughs> He's not a citizen of Nigeria. He my borrow. You be poor, you know. <laughs> Sometimes the things that they read for this lady, the things that is ah, you know, so they give me joy. I swear. So the government will not allow him because the propaganda man will be oh, thorough. <laughs> you don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> if you tell yourself the truth, you know that that place where you are hungry. Oh, you people they give me joy. You people give me joy. So, government will allow you to be because Nikpe is what? <laughs> Please, I beg. Make me not forget, say, if this country better, it better for you, it better for me, it better for your papa, it better for your mama, it better for your relatives, it better for your friends and well wishers. Now, better country, now we fine. We know they fine, make few people get. We won't make everybody they comfortable so that you go proudly come outside and they ask you, which country are you from? You could say you're from Nigeria. Let us build a better to know, a better to Nigeria for ourselves and for our children. Okay, on those notes, we've come to the end of the news. Just thank you for sending in to listen. Until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.